Hey everyone, it's Catherine, and as you can see, today I have a collaboration, and it is with Helen from DIY Hello Pie. If you have not been to her channel, check her out. She's awesome. She does DIY, she does thrifting, she does vlogs, she does a lot of cool stuff. She's really funny, and she's just a cool person, and you really need to check her out. She's the one who came up with this collaboration, and I thought it was really cool. Basically, we both went thrifting for each other, but we just picked out two items. And the two items that we sent to each other, we both have to DIY into something different. I thought this was awesome. I love to DIY things. The only issue we both had at the time was um, sewing machine issues. I didn't have mine working, and I think at the time that we started to do this collab, um, she didn't know if she would have a working sewing machine. But I'm not really sure how that worked out for her. Right now, I do not have a sewing machine that is working, so I have to do this all either hand sewing or n any no sewing project that I can find. So what I'm going to do now is open the package that she sent me with her items. I'm going to cover our addresses and see what she got me and then show you guys obviously and then we're gonna we're gonna brainstorm some ideas. I'll probably sketch some ideas and I'll come back and let you guys know what I've come up with and then I'll probably try and film myself doing the DIY. I'm a little terrified that I'm going to screw these up. Um, and then I'll show you guys the final product and I will model it for you. So, yeah. So, this is what she sent. It's got a little ribbon wrapped around it. Okay, let's see. I like this ribbon. I'm keeping it for other stuff. She sent me a note. I sent her a note, so just here's your blank here. So that's cute. <laughs> oh, this is cute. It says simple and cute just for you. Here's your blank canvas. Now it's up to you. The scissors. I'm just gonna keep this because it's so cute. Okay, we both sent each other something denim. I can tell you that already because I sent wait. Yes, I did send her something denim. Is that cheating telling you guys that before you can watch her video? Watch her video anyway. So she sent me this long, completely buttoned-down denim skirt. I actually like this how it is right now. This is really cute. It's got pockets! Oh my gosh, it's exciting. Okay, all right. I'm already brainstorming here. Got some ideas. And then... Just a basic green tank. Okay. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sketch some things out. I'm going to dig through my art boxes to see what I have. And then I will let you guys know what I came up with. Okay, so I've done my planning and I know exactly what I'm going to do with both items. And I'm pretty excited about what I'm going to do with both of them. One of them you guys might think is a little boring, but you'll see why I'm choosing to do this. Hopefully you'll see why. Okay, so with the skirt, first of all, it fits me perfectly. And this is one of those skirts where you don't want to ruin it. I know for sure that I want to shorten it. That's pretty much all I want to do with it. And I know you guys are going to think that's so boring, but I'm so scared to ruin it because it's such a good denim skirt. For now, my plan is just to shorten it to the length of some of the skirts that I already have that are the length that I like to wear my skirts, which is above the knees but not too short. So that's what I'm going to do with this skirt. I'm also thinking of switching out the buttons. But I haven't gone through my buttons yet to see which ones I might switch it to. Since I don't have a sewing machine right now, the way I'm going to hem it is by using hemming tape, which is like an iron-on tape. And what you do is you basically fold over the fabric the way you would hem it, and instead you iron it. So that's what I plan on doing with the skirt. So as for the top... Something that's been popular for quite some time is having all-over prints. Just picking an item or an animal or something and having it printed all over the shirt. I know Forever 21 has a lot of cat printed shirts. They have a dinosaur one right now. So I decided that's what I'm going to do with this. And I'm actually using a tutorial that Bethany from the Bethy Blue Eyes put up, I think just a week or two ago. And she used a dress that she got in a sale rack and she found... Um, a print that she liked online and she cut it out. She uses a stencil and she used fabric markers or fabric paint and she rocked it and her dress looks awesome. My first thought was elephants but I thought there's a lot of detail. I have to cut the stencil perfectly with the trunk and the legs and the tusks and I got a little nervous. So I just decided to go with a good old anchor. 
So I'm going to do anchors all over this um, shirt in fabric markers. And I recently bought these. I've never used them. And they are Crayola brand. And I'm a little nervous about the quality and such. But we're just going to... We're just going to wing it and see how it goes. If I have to, I'll go over it with acrylic paint and I'll just work with it. So I'm going to go ahead and start on this. Wish me luck. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm finished with the top and the bottom. Um, I think it turned out great. I still have to go over the anchors with a better paint in the future, but I, I'm kind of leaving it as is for now. I didn't do the back just because of lack of time. I'm working a lot, but I figure whenever I go over these ones with better paint, I'll probably do the back so I can have like an all-over print all over the entire shirt because I like it whenever the print is on the back as well as the front. I think it looks kind of weird when it's not, but for now it's okay. I love the length of the skirt now, it's the perfect length, and I'm really excited to show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to accessorize the outfit, and I'm going to model it for you. <laughs> <laughs> 